Hey, Gunter, of the 13 whales, how many are away? Um, we'll see, like, uh, if you're looking at those on Staker app, um, actually, I don't know. That's a, that's a good question, but I, I know if you take all of the stake positions of, of the addresses that the OA sent money to and you combine them, the OA is actually Poseidon. There is a Poseidon, but you don't see it yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. spread across mm -hmm. 11 different addresses at stake. Yeah. And only those 11 addresses stake, by the way, uh, yeah. that belong to the OA, only those 11 out of, out of over 3,000 addresses, just 11 addresses stake. Um, uh, so those, when you sorry, take sorry, that combination, is 18%. Really. Sorry, can we just clarify that? So of those 11 addresses, the combined total makes that a Poseidon? Is that... That's correct, eighteen yeah. percent. But you don't see it in Staker app because it's spread. It's divided yeah. throughout eleven addresses, yeah. right? Yeah. It's also smart too to um, to have it divided like that. You might ask, well, why is it divided? I mean, like from my perspective, it's divided to divide the risk. You don't want everything sitting in one wallet. We're talking about eight billion plus staked hex. Plus, it all yeah. went through big payday, so it doubled its stack, right? So the interest is like over eight billion. Uh, and, you know, it's dominating T-shares, 18% of T-shares. So, I mean, this is, uh, uh, but yeah, there's other, there's other reasons too. It makes it harder to track and it, it divides it up. It's more anonymous, you know, that kind of thing. So I, I think it's smart that it's not all in one address.